Hello biologists, we're going to talk about lab 3.23, the importance of mitosis. For this lab, you're going to need the sheet from doc sharing. Please make sure you look in doc sharing or you got a K-mail with this lab attached. So make sure it looks like this and question two should ex say explain how mitosis ensures there's an exact copy of all the cells chromosome in the new daughter cell. Because that's really what we're talking about here. This is very similar to the state standard that talks about mitosis. Mitosis happens because cells divide. Just like machines, your cells need maintenance and repair. And for example, skin cells are always dying. 90% of household dust is dead skin. So your skin cells need to be replaced on a regular basis. So mitosis needs to happen so healthy skin cells can divide and replace those skin cells that have died. Mitosis is an everyday occurrence. It happens in your toes, in your nose, in your ears, in your eyes. It's everywhere. Meiosis is a different process and we'll talk about that in another chapter. Mitosis is part of a larger cell cycle. Cells, just like all living things, go through different stages in life. The cell cycle has three main stages. Interphase, which the cell spends most of its time in. Mitosis, which what we're going to talk about today, which is only a very small part of the cell cycle. And then cytokinesis, where the cell splits into two other cells. So stage one is interphase. That's the first part of the cell cycle. An interphase actually has three smaller stages within it. Here's interphase, which includes G1, the S phase, and G2. So what happens in interphase? And the answer to that question is a whole lot. The cell's DNA is copied. All the cell's organelles are copied. And a whole lot goes on in interphase, which is the first part of question one that's table on your lab sheet. How does all of this ensure there is an exact copy of all the cell's chromosomes in the new daughter cell? Well, if you're going to take one cell and split it into two cells, you need to make sure you have copies of everything. And that those copies are evenly distributed so everyone gets an exact copy. During interphase, the cell grows, makes copies of its DNA, and prepares for division. That's the simple part of interphase, the simple summary of interphase. The cell grows to full size and produces all the structures. It copies all of the DNA and all of the organelles. It also prepares for division. Mitosis occurs here at the end of the cell cycle. Mitosis is only a part, a small part of the cell cycle. It looks like a big part here in this diagram, but it's really like you saw on the previous slide, just a small part of the cell cycle. Mitosis has four stages, and those are the letters PMAT stands for prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Stage two of the cell cycle is mitosis. And this is a very cartoony version of mitosis. I'll show you close up the different steps. The important thing to know with mitosis, before you get wrapped up in all the steps, is that the cell's nucleus divides into two new nuclei and one copy of the DNA is passed into each new cell. So let's say we have this series of index cards here. I have two yellows, two pinks, and two blues. Now let's say each of these is a chromosome. I don't want to just divide the index cards like this, so one cell gets green and pink, and the other cell gets blue and yellow. I want an exact copy. I want to give one cell a blue one. I want to give it one yellow one one pink, and one green. 
So each cell has a set of the same chromosomes. And that's what mitosis does. It makes sure that each new cell has a set of chromosomes that are the same. Prophase is where the chromosomes become visible inside the cell. They wrap themselves up in tighter and tighter formation. The DNA wraps itself up inside the chromosome around some proteins called histones. The nuclear membrane disappears, the centrioles appear, and the spindle fibers, these little guys, appear. Here are the centrioles here. They're kind of like the poles, and they make sure there's two cells. They kind of anchor each end of the cell. Metaphase, the word meta means middle, and that's where the chromosomes are in the metaphase stage of mitosis. They're in the middle. Notice the spindle fibers are attached, and they're going to pull those chromosomes apart. It's like there's two blue index cards here, and there's a spindle fiber attached to each, so one will be pulled to each side. In anaphase, this is still in your table under question one, spindle fibers move the chromosomes to opposite sides of the cell. That's the important thing that happens in anaphase. Make sure you put that in the table. Remember, you can always stop or rewind if you miss something. Telophase is where the centrioles and spindle fibers disappear because they're not needed. All of the chromosomes are pulled onto two opposite ends. The chromosomes disappear. They don't go anywhere. You just can't see them because they're not raveled as tightly. The nuclear envelope reappears. You can see this membrane here reappearing. And the cells begin to separate. You can see how there's a kind of a membrane forming between the two. They're on their way to becoming two separate cells. A cell goes through mitosis to divide its nucleus to form two nuclei. Are these nuclei identical? Think for a second. Do we want two exact same copies? Of chromosomes? If you said yes, you're correct. We want two exact copies because we're trying to make two exact copies of the cell. Okay, we've gone through that table in question one and question two now. We're going to talk about how does mitosis ensure there's an exact copy of all the cell's chromosomes in the new daughter cell? Well, the answer to that is what happens in interphase. And we talked about this a little bit before. All those chromosomes have to be duplicated exactly. And mitosis is that sorting process where you make sure that each cell, it doesn't just get all pink or blue. It gets one of each of the chromosomes. So one blue, one yellow, one green, one pink. So each of the new cells have all of the chromosomes. And mitosis is that sorting process, making sure each of the cells get exactly one of each chrome, or technically it's exactly two, but we'll talk about that later, of each chromosome. They get half of each chromosome. So what happens to the cell's DNA before mitosis? Well, before you can make sure that everybody has an exact copy, you have to create a copy. So if you had chromosome 3 here, the cell has to make another one of chromosome 3 so each cell can have a copy. So in S part of interphase, in the S section of interphase, interphase goes all the way around here in the cell cycle. Mitosis is just this tiny little part here. It's, interphase is divided into G1, S, and G2. In the S phase, DNA is replicated or copied. So in the S phase, DNA is copied or replicated 
Bef and this is before mitosis. You have to make copies of all the DNA before you do mitosis. Question four, what happens to the organelles? Remember the organelles from earlier in the chapter when we were talking about cells? All the cellular contents, including the organelles here, the chromosomes are copied here. In G1, all of the organelles are copied. So in G1 and G2, some of them are copied as well. G1 and G2, the organelles are copied. If you're going to split your cell into two, you need a copy of all the organelles. Mitochondria and the endoplasmic reticulum and the Golgi bodies, you need two of everything. And it's important to know that mitosis is at the end of the cell cycle. The cell does mitosis, it then does cytokinesis, so it has two copies. And then each of those copies begins the cell cycle all over again. So right at the end of the cell cycle, you get mitosis and then cytokinesis, where that, those cells are breaking apart. And each of the new cells starts the cell cycle over again. So this new cell will start here, and this one will go off and start its own cell cycle over here. They'll start copying everything. The cell cycle um, goes on every 18 to 24 hours for some cells, every week or so for some cells, every couple weeks for other cells. For instance, your blood platelets only last a couple of days, so you need to always be making new blood platelets. The second part of question five is what happens before and after mitosis? Well, that's interphase. And all the cell contents, everything, have to get duplicated or replicated. The chromosomes are replicated. All of the organelles are copied. The cell double checks the duplicated chromosomes for errors. Um, it looks, makes sure the organelles are functioning properly and then it undergoes mitosis in that those PMAT stages we talked about and then cytokinesis you get two new cells and starts the cell cycle all over again. After mitosis you get cytokinesis. Cyto means cell and kinesis means to move so the two parts of the cell move away from each other. They might not move far as you can see in this picture, but the organelles are redistributed and you get two new daughter cells. Here's an overview. Mitosis happens here. Remember interphase is most of the cell cycle. The cell cycle goes through mitosis, those steps we talked about, and then cytokinesis and starts all over again. It's a cycle. Here's a photo of a real onion root tip. You can see the different stages here. You can see this is interphase. The cell's getting ready. Here you can see anaphase. They're at opposite ends. Here, let's see, let's find a good metaphase. Everybody's in the sort of in the middle here. That's kind of a metaphase picture. Cytokinesis in plants happens a little bit differently because there's a cell wall. There's a plate that forms. They don't pinch off the way that animal cells do. Here you can see a plate forming between the two plant cells. They're not squishing in like an animal cell would be. Here's a picture of an animal cell. You can see how it's sort of becomes skinny in the middle. So now you know all about the fabulous things that happen in cells during mitosis. This is Lab 3.23, signing off.